Hello and welcome back to Sorted Food. Today we're going to be testing our normals to see if they can add another cooking badge to their score. The question is, what are the scores looking like at the moment? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't read well for us. Some of you need to pick up your game. Ready for challenge number one? Yes, Ebbers. Now, last time we did a chef skills challenge, the three of you worked together and all got your basic teamwork badge. If you remember, you cooked up a breakfast feast for a very picky family of four at my B&B. Under terrible management. Yeah, <laughs> <it's> terrible management. <laughs> well, today I've invited you back to work at my lunch deli. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Let's take a look at the menu. Buddha bowls, sandwich bar, Baked potatoes, soup of the day. Yeah, right. Bought some bit of <laughs> <It's the> <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah, no, that, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was the word that you yeah, used. No, right, no, right. <laughs> Emma's, there are so many ingredients. It's very simple. It's salads, sandwiches, soups. And the amazing thing about a deli is that when you go in there, everything is already laid out. Remember, this is all about teamwork. We're going to give you 10 minutes to plan and then 30 minutes of mise en place before we open the doors. You ready to begin? No. Three, two, one, thinking time. Um, it's going to be a long 10 minutes. You'll do baked potatoes, then you'll do poached two chicken, chicken. then grill. So shall I just do all the salad prep? I can do soup if you want to. You can't get baked beans on your baked potato. Where's the chilli? I actually am ashamed of working at this deli already. I need to get a better job. OK, boys, I'm a punctual man. The deli opens at midday. It's 11.30. That gives you 30 minutes of prep time, beginning in three, two, one. He should have got our shifts to start earlier. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing we didn't have last time was any true leadership. Well, you got a badge last time, Ebba, so... <laughs> I would say Mike has stepped up, but I think we've just more pushed it on him oh, a little good. bit. You are, you are head chef because we think you are the best communicator here. Where's that come from? Right. <laughs> that was the sugar. That sugar again! <laughs> Seasoning triangle. It's important no. to have it in the kitchen. But why is it next to the pepper? And there's no salt! <laughs> so you've moved to separate stations, you're all busy beavering away. What are you beavering away on? Last time it worked well for me, I was the sorcier, which I've instantly is talking about how it went for him. Not I, as a team. me. Team, teamwork, <laughs> teamwork. How many times have we got to say? Last time it worked really well for me, <laughs> and I was a sorcier, so I'm sticking to that. I'm making all the sauces and a soup, which again I think classifies as a sauce. So like that or a hot smoothie, one of the two. So today, it's advanced teamwork we're looking for, which means it's all about communication, delegation, leadership, and sharing of not just tasks, but kitchen space as well, so that everything stays under control. If one of you goes down, you're all going down, so it's about teamwork. So the aim of the game is to conquer and divide. Some of the things I'm doing, I will have to hand over to Barry at the end of the 30 minutes to finish, and likewise, Mike will have to hand certain things over to me so we can get it all done. But this makes the most of all of our skills, and the time that we've got. Very confidently said, mate. I know. I almost believed you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think learnings from the last go was that Barry took on too much and then didn't get it all done at the end. So uh, we're going to uh, mitigate that by trying to share out the tasks a little bit more evenly and also not trust anything that Barry said. What happened to this teamwork thing you mentioned? So the thing about Adele. Really like the new album, by the way. Who? Adele. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've got some potatoes boiling away here that's going to get used in our potato salad. I've also just put a couple of jacket potatoes in the microwave to cook through and then we're going to crisp them up in the oven later. Obviously we want all the food to taste great but the real focus today is multitasking and teamwork. I'm not looking for really fancy like tomato con case, we're just looking for bog standard deli grub. That's good because I don't even know what that is. I am on salad duty which means Chopping and slicing lots of salad, making some croutons, couscous, everything prepped and in bowls ready for sandwiches, paninis, Buddha bowls, everything. Excellent. Anybody know what a Buddha bowl is yet? No. Cool. It's kind of a vegetarian salad bowl with the base of either grain or potato or leaves and then a mixture of toppings on top and a mixture <laughs> of Barry, options. Barry, 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 that's not how you roast garlic. Yeah, it is. How else are you going to roast garlic? Garlic. Get a whole Roast bowl, it. cut the top off, it's fine. some oil. It'll cook quicker, that was fine. It'll cook. Double chicken, mayonnaise, egg yolks. Yeah. Egg yolks, a little bit of mustard. Yeah. Yeah. And then oil slowly across the skin. A sign of bad management is the people that they employ. Baz, basic sauce badge mayonnaise. You didn't get it first time round. Because I cheated, I tried to use a machine. This time, I'm doing it all by hand. But he has just had to double check with me what goes How's into mayonnaise. How's my mayonnaise? <laughs> Can you please? I think Mike is definitely in do and then think mode. He's chosen to halve his carrot and then peel both halves. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to take action. 
How's everyone doing? Base of the soup is coming along nicely. One spoonful of Dijon. You've got the sauce badge, I'm just double checking with you. This is a teamwork thing. Yeah, just, just a teaspoon of Dijon and then slowly start pouring your oil in. Thank you, chef. That really hurt Jamie because he really wanted to take the mickey and then he remembered this is the teamwork badge and what he did was help Barry out. The soup in the deli changes every day. What is it today, Baz? Today it is sweet corn and chicken. Well, he's written down here, soup and chicken. So I've got onions, garlic, a chicken stock cube, and now the sweet corn. Onions softened, garlic softened. And I'm gonna add some water and probably a little bit of milk to this, then I'll blend it up. I might even put a bit of cream instead. I'm sure we can find you some cream if you want cream of chicken and sweet corn. Crusts and all in the croutons. Boys, you have had half of your mise en place time. Croutons, got some garlic, just oil over the toss. And yeah. then in? Yeah, yeah. Bake them off if easier. I was going to toast them, but then the ovens are being used. Yeah, it's being used for two cloves of garlic. You can move those around if you want. Oh, can we? Hey, look, I'm making mayonnaise, Jamie. Who knew it's this easy? We need quite a lot of it. You need mayonnaise for various different elements on the menu. He's choosing to fry the tofu. Pretty nifty knife work. Right, potatoes ready for the potato salad when the mayo's ready for it. Chicken is poaching. Status update. I'll do couscous boys. I'm worried about the amount of mayo I've made, but that can make it spread. This is definitely salt. That one's salt, yes. Definitely Don't salt. Check cross it, but yes. Anything. I guess I should start thinking about what I want for lunch. Okay, I'm going to shout some stuff out. Can we have a check or a, a process? Salmon. Uh, I haven't seen it. It's going to be in the fridge. Oh, it's sliced. Excellent. How are we doing, Baz? Soup is nearly ready, just needs the chicken a little bit of sweet on the end and some seasoning, some cream. Excellent. We've got the salad ready for the Buddha bowls. We've got croutons on the go. We've got the leaves, fillings. If I just start getting everything together now and laid out. Six minutes remaining till we open the doors. Chicken, is it cooked through? No. Chicken was a bit rare, boys, so I've put it back. A bit rare. <laughs> I like that, undercooked, but he calls it rare. You're such a steak man. <laughs> In like three minutes, we need to clear down here. If the door's open, then we, we've got, we can't tidy up at the same time. I'm happy to help. Good observation from our leader. Anyway, how many people usually come to your deli? You never know. Hey, it's good to sell out though, isn't it? It proves like you want demand to outstrip supply. Yeah, and also you want to keep people waiting around the block because yeah, exactly. then people think it's really popular. Perfect. Yeah, What's barbecue sauce? Something sweet, salty, a little bit Liam smoky. Yeah. Pomegranate molasses, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Use what you got. Combo of what you've got, make it work. Why don't you come and do sauces here and then we'll start moving stuff to the front. Somebody taking control, we like this. But in a panicky way. A little bit of flapping, but actually... You're doing a wonderful job. Oh my goodness, Michael! Not appropriate in the workplace. <laughs> I'm gonna get some of that chicken out. Hopefully it's nearly cooked now. Last two minutes. Mike absolutely loving the washing up in a deli where he moves from one bowl to another. Ebbers, we can't I see a logic, I see a logic. 30 bowls for the customers. What's Dude, this, the soup? That's a, oh, something all stunk from the coffee. Literally scraping the barrel with this mayonnaise. Scraping the barrel, are we? I'm scraping the bottom of the pan. How Soup's good, soup? just chuck, chuck me in pulled chicken in there. And okay. also we've got some extra sweet corn put in there as well. Then you just need seasoning and tasting. One minute. Are you happy with that? Um, yep, just need Jamie's chicken. You can oh, um, chicken. see if it tastes nice, so I ain't got a clue. Oh, good. So far, pretty good teamwork. Lots of communication. 30 seconds to doors open. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little bit of bringing stuff to the front as we go. Yeah. But if we just get the orders in as long as stuff is ready, that's all that matters, right? Yep. Barry, how are we doing for time on stuff? I think everything I need to do is nearly done. That's actually delicious. I haven't made burger sauce, but I can do that. Blue cheese yes, and mate. cream. Yes, mate, coming to you right now. Okie dokie. Oh, no! Time is up. Can I have a label? Challenge number two. First two customers in. Hi, Anne, nice to meet you, how are you? Sorry that you had no other choice but to eat here. What can I get you? One toasted cheddar cheese, tomato and mustard panini. And one Buddha bowl, base of couscous with pulled chicken, tomato, onion, cucumber and barbecue sauce. Toasted panini, Spaff, do you yep. want to do that? I'll, do the panini. I'll start doing the Buddha bowl. So, you want me to do nothing? Sweet talking? Just get a panini ready. The pre cut panini. Thanks, mate. Do you have a broom? I feel like I should be sweeping up. Customer number two's just walked in. Tuna mayo jacket, please. That's you. Where are the tomatoes gone? <laughs> I'm using them for my panini. 
Would you like any leaves with your Buddha bowl, Ebers? Oh, what have you got? We've got spinach and we've got um, curlies. <laughs> what have you got in the curly one? Uh, I think this is a, a, a rocket. This is an <laughs> Italian salad, actually. I'd like a little bit of that, yeah, thank you. Would you like to make this into a meal deal? We've got some Walker's crisps. Are you eating and... chicken? <laughs> no. Good on the upsell, you can work again. <laughs> yeah, can of drink. Uh, we've got two bottled waters, I'd like, yeah. Panda pops. No, none of your slush puppy <laughs> rubbish. We've got an order just come through on the delivery app. Two soups, one more panini, this time blue cheese, ham and spinach. I'm on the panini. And a Buddha bowl base of potato salad. Two soups. Smoked salmon. <laughs> smoked salmon and all of the salad. Did anybody get any Topped of with that? croutons. No. Silence is golden. It's a strange little deli. It's actually only open for 25 minutes, but you get an awful lot of orders in that time. <laughs> is that the olive oil gone? I used it all for my croutons. All of it? Yeah. Wow, these are like Bellini bases. Which customer is that for? Bellini three. So that's the very first one. So that's going to be number one. <laughs> is that for customer that's three? Have What's you just one? done that? that was the that's the one that came in just one? last. Yeah, yeah. so that's that's customer three. Customer two will go there. What's three? customer two? What do you mean customer am I doing two the soup? Whenever is... I touch soup. Oh, we'll do that thing where you just shout, two soups, and then someone will come and pick it up. So I'm going to ask again, what was customer number two? Two soups. No, no. <laughs> Okay, we got a Buddha bowl. Who wants a Buddha bowl? Is that the one coming with my panini? It's on the way. Oh, I've panini. got ticket number one. Ticket panini. number one. A Buddha bowl and a ham and cheese. <laughs> one Buddha bowl. One tomato cheddar panini with mustard. Thank you very much. Thank customer you. one leaves. Customer number two. I'm still waiting on my tuna mayo jacket. Tuna mayo jacket. Thank you. And that is speedy. That's what we like. Jamie, did you put a whole chicken in this soup? Because it's now more, <laughs> it's more chicken with sauce than it is. Somebody else has just walked in and seen the tuna mayo jacket and said, oh, can I have the same, please? But <laughs> can I have it spicy? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Barry, what's yes, the problem? I need some more tuna mayo. What do you mean you need some more tuna mayo? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's not fine. How long have you got? Are you on a work lunch or? Yeah, it's fine, we'll take a moment to. We've got our two chicken and sweet corn soups. Blue cheese panini coming up. Number three. Potato There's salad. Potato yeah, salad wonderful. Just potato checking. Potato salad. Just checking. How are we getting on on the blue cheese ham and spinach panini? It's right here. Mike, did you order the last order of the tuna, of the tuna mayo chili one? Teamwork is looking good. Orders are coming out mostly together. What can we do, Baz? Uh, it's all good. It's all good. Where's the mayo that's going to go in the tuna? Oh, it's on the edge of the bowl. It's not been mixed in yet, you... Oi, teamwork, you're meant to be supporting me. Where's my kisses and hugs, hugs gone? Do you want chilli flakes or chilli jam in it? Ooh, what do you uh, Scotch jam. bonnet, pepper sauce. What? He wants spicy tuna mayo. Scotch bonnet sauce. In tuna mayo? He wants a spicy tuna mayo. Do what, I just, custom right. number two looked good, but I want mine a bit spicier, please. Are we doing this? How much? Yeah. I mean, not much. <laughs> yeah, but you're fine. One more Buddha bowl order, please. Salad base, tofu. Tofu. And a garlic mayo. Would you like coleslaw with that? Ooh, what's in the coleslaw? Uh, coleslaw stuff. Yes, please. <laughs> Baz, that roasted garlic on the bottom of that oven is smelling really good. By really good, you mean burning, right? <laughs> Last minute before Delhi shuts. Did anyone try this tuna? There's no spice in that. Is that a spicy sauce? You know what, some chili flakes on top. Have we got garlic mayo? Baz, has the mayo. tofu been seasoned? Five orders today. No. Are you happy they're all up? Dolly Mayo's good, yeah? Yep, yeah, that's for the Buddha Bowl. Okay. Service. Okay, boys. I've been watching from the sidelines. I had a little snoop when you finished to look at the state of the kitchen and I've tried your food and here's what I think. Oh, I Being like judged by your friends is just not a good environment. Also, when management come in and snoop, managing anything. That's a bad anything. culture, yeah. Ebbers. In my head, he's been doing this all his life with us. <laughs> Even at school, we finish yeah. our exams, he walks around and goes, oh, he's got that one wrong. Do that way, eh? Interesting. Presentation lacking pretty much throughout. I think we know that it was quite rushed. We're talking about simple deli. But when it comes to the food and the preparation, everything arrived in quite an orderly fashion. Like it all arrived pretty quickly because of the preparation. This time there was less bickering and you chose somebody to lead the way, Mike. However, Mike then put himself on the side and most of the questions were actually targeted at Jamie. 
fine if that's where the information is, but is it coherent? I can speak English. It's better than me. <laughs> The food itself, it all tasted pretty good. The soup was probably more stewy than soupy, whereas the ham in the panini is less generous. Oh, it's so sad, look at that. Oh, no. But it was all seasoned throughout and Baz made a damn good mayo. Because he followed my instructions. One thing is key and that's safety. Every time a tin was open, sharp, jagged edges were left lying around, knives were scattered everywhere. It wasn't a particularly safe environment to be in. Oh, sorry, boys. So, with advanced teamwork, in mind. Oh, I forgot about that. We have to set the bar very high because after all the bickering in Kuyabak. You I'm... handed me this and pointed at Pilaf and I didn't check your work! I, I thought it was the same thing. <laughs> Why did I? You somehow got into media. I can thank the community for that. You were very generous. I think there were lots of good elements. <laughs> but I'm not going to award the badge because I think there's things around mm. safety, around communication that can still be better. And when you're focusing on teamwork, it doesn't mean you can let presentation and food quality dip as well. So unfortunately not, that's fair. but the mm. good news is Ben's pub opens in the evening. You can come and do a shift there in a few weeks or months time. Oh, oh no! no. Oh. Well, over to you guys. Did you agree with Ben? Comment down below with how you think we got on. And let us know what chef skills challenges should we be taking on next time. We didn't get a badge today, but maybe you could give this video a like and we could walk away oh, with something nice. at least. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Maybe subscribe, maybe a share. Sympathy likes, I like that. You, uh, you. Um, <laughs> I mean, that, that's customer service right now. <laughs>